Hi, my name's Aaron, and this is the Totally Bad News. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff to get through this week, so let's go. Biggest story of the week, obviously, is the fact that they're working on a Dance Dance Revolution movie. Where they have to dance to save the world. Are you picturing this? I hope so. And obviously this is going to be the greatest video game movie ever made. I'm on board, how about you? PSN Online ID change name thingies is coming. It's coming, you're going to be able to change your PSN ID name. Currently it's only available to people who sign up for betas for PS4 whenever they sign up for them. And there's no real time frame for when the rest of us plebs will get it. But we do know that the first name change will be free. And if you want to change your name after that, they're going to charge you Skrilla. 10 US dollars. I don't know what it's going to be here, but it's going to be 10 US dollars. Unless you're a PlayStation Plus member, and then it's 5 US dollars. This is cool. Uh, it's good that Sony's finally caught up with everyone else in the world. I will be changing my name, and I look forward to it. Microsoft announced the xCloud streaming service this week, which is a uh, streaming service. God, I'm a good news person. The new streaming service will allow you to play Xbox One games via streaming to a mobile platform like a phone or a tablet. They put out a video which shows it in action. They had someone playing on their phone with an Xbox controller through Bluetooth. I think they were playing Forza Horizon and then they had someone playing Halo on their phone with just a touch screen. Uh, that part I don't, uh, I don't like so much, but th as long as you can use controllers, that's I'm good with that. The streaming service will start public trials in 2019 and will supposedly let you stream any Xbox One game. No word on plans or pricing or any of that yet, but uh, I guess we'll find out next year sometime. Now, I think the biggest movie news this week is the fact that James Gunn will be writing and possibly directing the sequel to Suicide Squad. Fuck yeah. I'm all for that. Seeing as the trailers for the first Suicide Squad were kind of going in that Guardians of the Galaxy vibe direction, I'm kind of for this. And I feel like maybe Warner Brothers and DC understand what they had, what they could have had, and now they're maybe trying to go in that direction with the actual movie, not just the trailer. They did already have a director in Gavin O'Connor, who was apparently let go because his story ideas were very similar to what they're doing with Birds of Prey. And because Birds of Prey got greenlit before Suicide Squad 2 did, apparently he got fed up with everything and just went to direct something else. So... I don't know how similar Birds of Prey could have been to Suicide Squad, but Margot Robbie is going to be in both as Harley Quinn, so... And of course, Dave Bautista tweeted out that he's totally ready to do whatever James Gunn wants for that movie. If Marvel will let him, obviously. And in our final bit of news this week, the Disney Fox acquisition will finally be closed on January 1st, 2019. Finally. The current president of 21st Century Fox, I have to say first, apparently. His name is Peter Rice, and he'll be joining Disney as a top TV exec. Whatever that means. And now we don't know what's going to happen with Dark Phoenix. Or... Gambit. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen with Gambit, it's not gonna happen. But will Dark Phoenix release? Who knows? Do you know? Let us know in the comments. Let us know about all the things today. Do you agree with any of them? Do you disagree with any of them? Let us know and we will talk about it in the comments together. I don't know why my eyes are like this, but they are. Thank you for watching. I will see you again next week right here on Totally Bad News.